Let's tag on. My name is Ilkil Vigasma, also known as EJ. So yesterday I have an uh, unboxing video just because I didn't have uh, that many plans uh, yet. <laughs> Anyhow, um, this, these uh, orchids are coming from Giulio Celandrioni Orchidae uh, from Italy. I probably didn't pronounce it right, but this is a new nursery uh, for me that I'm ordering from. Uh, from. So, um, yeah, all the way from uh, from Italy, and now they are in the Netherlands, and I hope they did uh, did well. I must admit, uh, they sent this, uh, posted this on Monday, and today is Wednesday, so it's uh, two days later. So that's not bad from Italy, I think. So uh, anyhow, let's uh, let's see what I ordered, and I'm very curious uh, to see uh, the condition of the plants. I'm pretty, uh, I do remember a few that I really wanted, but I don't know how it goes with you guys, but sometimes you just sort of forget what you even ordered. And that sounds bad, but yeah, it's uh, what happens. And I know I'm not the only one. So anyhow, what I'm trying to say is it's still a sort of a surprise for myself as well. What, uh, what are we going to find? And I'm almost there, I believe, yes. There we go, there we go. So let's open the box. And I need to check for an invoice. If it does have my name on it and address, I will uh, get it out of the way. No, I don't think so. Let's see how we're going to do this. Well, it's very nicely packed. As you can see, we have some uh, newspaper, but also these uh, airy bags in there. So yeah, I'm going to put it on the floor, a uh, heat pack, thank you so much. I think I didn't order one, but I'm not completely sure from this moment, but thank you so much for putting that in. So, I should have made some room for the paper, I didn't. <laughs> um, here are my scissors. Very well taped and protected, I need to say. The only downside is that it does take a little bit more time to uh, unwrapping, on unboxing. But yeah, the plants are the most uh, important in this case, of course. So I'm really happy with that. Well, this is the first one. Uh, slip the tape in the way there. Let's break the paper. Oh yeah, there we go. And there it is. So far, I see quite a lot of roots in there. So this is the why not. Guartonia why not so this is I think this is the yellow variety so yeah that was one on my list because I see there's a lot in uh, in America the US for sale but not that often in the, uh, in uh, Europe especially in the Netherlands but uh, that is the first one and it looks uh, looks very nice I don't see the growing tips yet but they will probably start out uh, shooting again I think so let's put it to the side over here. If it stands on its own, yes. There it is. So let's have a look for the second one. Well, this one is bigger. I already know what this one is because I remembered ordering it. And this I was looking for as well. And I wanted one with a very nice color. And this one also has a very nice name. So it suggests that the color is, is very rich. It's a dendrobium type, you probably saw that already. And if I'm correct, it should, uh, the flowers should smell like uh, raspberries. And I love raspberries fragrances. So, who knows? 
One day we can find that out on our own. Oh, what a roots. Look at that. There she is. Yeah, I think it's... Uh... So this is Dendrobium purpureum. Purpureum variety. No, this is not a variety. I'm mixing them up. So I will have another Dendrobium. <laughs> In there, if I'm correct. Oh, I thought I, I really knew, but this is a Dendrobium purpureum, and it looks very nice. Look at the roots there. So I have another Dendrobium coming. That is the one I was referring for. I have no idea what type of fragrance this one will have on uh, on the flowers. But anyhow, it's uh, it's it's looking uh, very very nice. It's a very nice, fairly large plant. Let's put it over here and go for the next one. Uh, put it over there. That is over here. There we go. Yeah, so far so good. Like I said, the first time that I'm ordering from them, but uh, yeah, I'm happy so far. The plants look very nice. This one. It's not a big one, obviously, as you can see. Very young plants. This is a Schomburgia. Crispa variety Alba. That is this one. So a very young plant. This one doesn't have as much roots as the rest, I think. It does look a bit shriveled. So yeah. Yeah, this one is not looking as nearly as good as the other ones. Hopefully it will survive, but I'm, I, I would have wished for a little bit more roots, but I think the moss uh, is going over. It's a bit smelly as well, but you can see the dead roots on there. So that's a bit sad, but yeah. Anyhow, and Shiburkia, and I uh, love the flowers that they uh, had for this one on the picture. So that's why I bought it, but yeah, it's just uh, not big. Yet, so hopefully we uh, will uh, get it in a good condition again. I shall try my best. Let's go for the next one. There we go. Feels fairly heavy. It has a big pot, so uh, we can expect a little bit bigger plant. Ah, yeah. I think that I already know which one this is. Yes, this is a Miltonia. It looks a bit dehydrated, as you can see. This one I had for. Uh, I bought it two times, and both of them died. Sadly, because of Fusarium. So hopefully this one uh, will not have it. This is the Miltonia Flavesense. Beautiful one, but yeah, I lost both of them. And it did so well, but if they have Fusarium, they can uh, knock over uh, in, in within a day almost, and then you have a very hard time, almost impossible to get them back because they're just sick. And one of the signs is dehydration, but I hope it's from... Uh, from sending them over. We have one, two, three new growths. So um, this uh, I need to repot uh, also very soon. Bit of discoloration there. Anyhow, uh, Miltonius most of the times look like this from nurseries. Mine luckily do look better, plumper. Maybe it's from the transport, I don't know. But anyhow, uh, the flavor scent. I'm happy I have it again. I really do. So it has beautiful, beautiful blooms. So let's uh, go for another one. At least we have two more left <laughs> for this unboxing. Well, actually three. I thought this was one package. No. Here we go. Here we go. Ew. There we go. Ah, this looks nice. See, you can already see this looks fresher. It has a new growth coming there. Beautiful, nice color. Plum bulbs. So this is this is what we want to see. 
and this is <laughs> this is the XL, uh this is the yellow one yellow kitty so the other one we just saw is the red one this is a Guartionia why nuts and then the yellow kitty so this one has the yellow flowers I saw both of them for sale on uh, the Gullio's website and both of them I had on my uh, wish list <laughs> so I now have both the red and the yellow one those look fine luckily yeah Schimburgia mm, not so much to be honest but for the rest so far is, uh, is okay so let's hope uh, we will get it uh, to grow again well actually let's put it here Tape on this one. <laughs> yeah, this is probably the. Yeah, <laughs> another dendrobium. This is the one I was referring to earlier. This is the Nestor Red Dragon. So, yeah, that sounds like a uh, promising name. Beautiful uh, new growth. We have another smaller one here, and it's. Uh, losing his leaves so that's normal and but uh, luckily we have some new growths so this uh, should be uh, good for repotting fairly quickly as well so yeah, this uh, looks nice very nice so yeah and nester if i'm correct i think uh, roger uh, did uh, describe the fragrance as a raspberry fragrance so i'm very uh, Looking forward to that. If it doesn't have any fragrance, I don't mind it because I really uh, like the flowers. But a bonus would be a welcome as well. So if it's fragrance, uh, I would be happy with that. Of course. So I think this is the last one. I'm pretty sure it is. And I cannot remember what this one will be, to be honest. Paper everywhere. <laughs> so it feels very lightweighted so this one probably needs a bit of water maybe <laughs> I'm not sure so here we go ah yeah I remember ah look at that I see new, new roots here and a new root tip there this is the brush of all uh, cuculada. cuculada. Yeah, this is very dry, but it's that's for the best if you uh, send them, I think. Very nice, uh, fairly long canes on there, leaves. And like we just saw, new roots. So yeah, this is uh, pretty, sh pretty quickly ready for a repot as well. So I'm going to take it out of that uh, old moss pretty soon. So that is it. Uh, those were the plants, I think. Let me quickly check. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up and then I will have a last a look at all the plants together. And there they are on the table. So, here, yeah, let's start with the, the saddest one. It's the Schimburkia. I'm not completely sure. But it has new growth, so hopefully those are at the point of starting uh, shooting out new roots. To be honest, this is the first Schimburkia that I ever owned, so I have no idea if they start rooting fairly quickly or later, if the new growths are mature or something like that. If you know, please let me know. But, um, so yeah, this is the nursery actually. Here's the original name. So yeah, the Alba, I love my Albas. Yeah, let's hope. We have a bit of a root there, so maybe we can work with that one. But I th have a feeling that this one needs to come out of that pot. Then the nester. I'm happy with this, you guys. I'm happy with all the plants, but this one was absolutely on my list for years. But I, way I wanted to have a very nice color variety. And then the red dragon. I mean, dragons, you guys, that, that only can be good. <laughs> then we have this fairly big dendrobium over here. 
and it's the dendrobium prepare prepare something oh i Purpureum, there it goes. Purpureum, and should be an Alba version. It doesn't says it's on a tag, but I bought it as an Alba on their website. Nonetheless, it's looking good. It's looking good. So yeah, I'm happy with that as well. Then we have the Flavsons. So yeah, probably because the other two uh, I lost because of Fusarium. I am a little bit more scared that these, this one will have it as, as well. Probably it's fine. I did buy, um, buy other Miltonias that look like this and they are doing so phenomenally well. So we're going to focus on positive energy. This is probably going to completely be fine. <laughs> I'm happy that I have it. I love the flavor scent. Then this Abrasa Vola type, Cucolada. Yeah, that's one with a beautiful bloom. So I'm happy with that one as well. I hope it will enjoy its life here in the greenhouse. And then the two why nots. I don't know why, but these are funny to me. It's all because of the name, I think. And yeah, I, they had the both varieties, the yellow one and the red one. And those look, uh, look good. So uh, I'm happy with those as well. So yes, you guys, this is the haul for today. I hope you enjoyed. I really uh, did myself. Like I said, it's almost uh, like uh, opening up a gift because I'm not always remembering exactly what I did order. Uh, I did uh, know, uh, realize that I did uh, order these two, <laughs> which are a bit hard now, Flacent and Distant Drobium. So yeah, I did forget about the uh, these three. But yeah, anyhow, it's uh, this is my order. I remember now, and I'm happy I did it. And I just we, let's hope that this one will make it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And of course, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I really hope to see you at one of my next ones. Bye bye.